Eliza. Yeah, it's always almost. No point worrying until it happens. Why have you seen that Baltimore man? It's not a thing that you can let go on and on like the weather. Weather here doesn't ask permission of me, Aunt El. Speak to my father. Something must be done for this child, Arthur. Refreshing suggestion. What? Well, this very famous oculist in Baltimore that I wrote you about, uh, what was his name? Uh, Dr. Chisholm? Yes. Now, I heard lots of cases of blindness of people thought couldn't be cured. He's cured. The child is blind and deaf. I have stopped believing in one. I think the captain will write to him soon. Won't you, captain? The child's been to specialists all over Alabama and Tennessee. If I thought it would do good, I'd have her to every fool doctor in the country. I think the captain will write to him soon. Katie, how many times can you let them break your heart? Any number of times. Now what, John? As long as I think there's the least chance for her to see or hear. Well, there isn't. Now I must finish here. I think... I would like to write it. I prefer we don't, Katie. Well, Wright does no harm, Arthur. Just a little better to, to see if he can help us. He can't. If Father stands up, that makes it a fact. He'll be quiet. Bad enough here by females without your impudence. Oh. Ah, uh, Katie! I might as well try to edit this newspaper in that yard. But we really ought to put her away, Father. What? Some asylum. It's the kindest thing. Which is your sister, James, not just the half sister. Half mentally defective. This discussion is at an end. I'll thank you not to broach it again, Ev. Katie, I want some peace in the house. I don't care how. One way we won't have it is by rushing up and down the country year after year every time someone hears of some new quack. Sensitive to this affliction as anyone else. It was not our affliction I meant you to write about, Captain. Oh, indeed, but what? So I... What? I... She wants the doll to have eyes. Oh, she doesn't know any better how to have our soul back on later. Never learn with everyone letting her do anything she takes it into her mind to. You be quiet. What did I say now? You talk too much. I was agreeing with you, whatever it was. Try a child, the least she can have are the little things she wants. Oh, with a couple of buttons. Look, Vic? Yeah? I'll address for anything useful, boy. I'm not. It's for Miss Sullivan. Huh? I doubt that, Miss 
Sullivan. I just hold on to my neck. My neck, Miss Sullivan! No inconvenience at all, other than having that door taken down and a lock replaced. Be able to find that key. I'll look everywhere for it. Thank you. Not look in any rooms that can be locked. Thank you very much. What are you looking at here? Back to your work. Something to look at here? Now, would it be pop? Have supper? Like other people? Hey. Oh, my dear child, now the two weeks are up today. Surely it's... They're not up in the city, Miss Sullivan, you are a tyrant. Likewise, I'm sure. I don't think you know how eager we are to have the child back. I do know. It's my main worry. It's like expecting a new child now. You've done one. I want more time, Miss Annie. Another week. We missed the child. I miss her. I'm glad to say that's a different debt I owe you. Doesn't she miss us, too? Doesn't she need affection? She never shows me she needs it. She won't have any caressing. You are not her mother. I would more than that. I thought her to behave. She was manageable. Cleaner. Cleaner? Oh, we said a cleanliness is next to God. Cleanliness is next to nothing. She has to learn that everything has its name. That words can be her eyes. And there ain't her fingers now. I need only time to push one of them into her mind. Look, what is she spelling now? Order. Teaching a dog to spell. Now that dog doesn't know what she means any more than she knows what you mean, Miss Sullivan. I think you ask too much of her. And of yourself. God may not have meant Helen to have the eyes you speak of. I mean her too. What is it to Half a week. I want her back. I'll send Viney to help you now. Not until 6 o'clock. I have her until 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Come, Katie. Come in. Miss. Yeah. Your first month's up. With many more to come. Doesn't express it. Feel. The hour death is what you do. I taught her one thing. No. Don't do this, don't do that. That's more than all of us put in all the years. I want to teach her what language is. Obedience without understanding is a blindness, too. Not all I've wished on her. Maybe. I don't know what else to do. Keep on doing what I've done and have faith that inside you. And inside it's waiting, like water underground. You can help, Captain Keller. How? The world isn't an easy place for anyone. I don't want her just to obey. But to let her have her way in everything is a lie. To her. And I don't even love her. She's not my child. Well, you've got to stand between that lie and her. Agreed. Won't you come out of sight? At least once, how I could earn a living. Oh, you do. I really do. Now the question is, can I survive it? 